Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Minding a Mechs, Episode 5, where we start testing of the Times Vape Dreamer Mechanical Mod. This is probably the first of, will probably be three videos to cover completely. In this one, we're going to be testing resistance of the four tubes, stainless steel, aluminum, brass, and copper, that the Dreamer comes in. A debate within the community is how much does the choice of metal affect how hard a mech hits? Does, does it make a big difference between these four, or is there so much metal here that the resistance is so low for all of them that it really doesn't make that much of a difference. And how much more do other things like threading, contacts, etc., make a difference versus the choice of metal? So we're going to be testing stainless steel, aluminum, brass, and copper. And I want to thank my patrons again for making this testing possible. And a big thanks to Stan at Tenacious TX Vapes for sending over a, an aluminum. A dreamer which uh, I ravaged unfortunately in order to be able to make the resistance test but thank you very much it certainly is cool to have that to be able to test to the other ones so first thing we want to do is make sure that our probes are at zero and they almost are only two micro ohms off but let's get it uh, all the way down to zero so now we're at zero with them connected which is what you always want to see and what I'm going to be doing is recording five resistance measurements, throwing out the high and low, taking the average, and then calculating the voltage drop and the power loss for these. Some of that I'll be doing off camera and present the results to everybody. So apologies for the boring part, which starts about now. So let's start with stainless steel. You want to put these in about the same amount each time. And we got 1.48. Spin it a little bit. You want to measure in different places in different ways because you want to make sure your measurements are consistent. 1.38. Then what we're also going to do is flip it around. One point four zero. And I expect all the readings to probably be around the same mark. You know, a little bit above one, a little bit below another. 1.44 and last one flip it back again, spin it and so we're coming pretty well around 1.4 milliohms 1.45 as a comparison the stainless steel um, Wismac RX Machina tube was about 2.1 milliohms so already slightly thicker metal doesn't have the cutouts so this I would expect to be lower resistance okay let's go to the aluminum tube point oh seven six that is what 12 15 times less resistance but how much of a difference does that make spin around to the other marks the anodizing is not fun to take off point oh eight three spin it Namely, that does that much bigger voltage drop in the tube, 0.082, really equate to a big power loss? Or is it just so much metal that even though one has much lower resistance than the other, in the end it's just not that much of a power difference? 0.078, and one more. Let's flip it back again just for the heck of it. Oop, that may be off. 0.079. So it's about 10 times, 12 times lower resistance than the stainless steel. Now let's go to the brass. Point 0.129. So we are 1.48 for aluminum, 0.076, excuse me, 1.48 for stainless steel. 0.076 for aluminum and 0.129 so this is a lot higher than the aluminum but nowhere near the stainless steel 0 0.130 but 128 very consistent readings that's good One three four. Sorry if my shoulder just hit the camera there. 
uh, I should say the tablet. And last one, 0.128. Okay, and now let's check copper. Unbelievably low, 0 0.034. Less than one half the aluminum and about one third the brass. Nice of it to rotate for me. 0.032. Give it a spin. But again, does that really equate to any kind of practical difference when vaping? Nice consistent readings. Let's give it a flip. 0.033. Okay. What we've got roughly about 1.45 milliohms for stainless steel, about 0.08 for aluminum. 0.128, so stainless steel and the brass, excuse me, 1.45, 0.128, so the stainless steel is about 10 times more than the brass, 15 times more than the copper, and uh, several times more than the aluminum. But again, does that translate into anything actually in terms of power loss and voltage drops? I'm going to uh, do this off camera, calculate this out, I'll be right back. Okay, here are the tables, here are the voltage drops four metals, but here's the power loss. Now stainless steel at 30 amps, we're losing about 1.3 watts, 1.29 watts, just through the tube itself. Now compared to the other metals, aluminum we're losing about 0.07 watts, in brass we're losing about 0.12 watts, and in copper we're losing about 0.03. So yeah, the copper is the most conductive of these three down here, with brass being the least conductive of these three, but you're only losing a, a, a tiny fraction, a tenth of a watt difference between aluminum, brass, and copper maximum. And there's only about a 1.1, 1.3 watt loss more in stainless steel. So at about 100, 105 uh, watt discharge, you're vaping about 100, 105 watts or so with a decent battery, you're only gonna uh, get back about one watt more power just the tube versus uh, like stainless steel, using these other metals versus stainless steel. So for the tubes themselves, it doesn't make a big difference, yeah, especially once you're outside of stainless steel, it makes no difference at all between the metals, any kind of practical difference. Uh, even with stainless steel, it only makes a one watt difference. What happens though when we start to test the entire mech? What becomes a much bigger influence? Are the threads and the uh, contact and other things a bigger difference or will it be this kind of narrow difference between all the different metals? Now this testing here with just the tubes themselves isn't done just to, to take up everybody's time, but this is a way for us to start to see what really makes a difference. What is affecting overall performance of the mech and what is not? What should we be paying attention to when buying a mech or designing a mech? And what can we not pay attention? pay attention to. Things like for any of these three metals, the choice of metal just doesn't matter that much in terms of the tube itself and what's going on. For this one, yeah, you've got about 1% loss of your vaping power. For these, uh, a, a tiny fraction of that, a tenth of a percent or something like that. So the conclusion we can see is for this it doesn't matter. Now we'll see what happens when we uh, test out the complete mech and we start looking at the effect of threads the different buttons, etc., and also we'll look at different pins and different platings and different metals uh, for the pins, the contact pins being used inside the button. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching.